this in this video we are going to see how to do uh, addition of two polynomials uh, using arrays so the structure which you are going to adopt for storing the polynomials or here are arrays so we will see how to do it you know the polynomial consists of uh, polynomial expression consists of many terms where each term consists of mainly two parts coefficient and exponent so for example this is a polynomial where we have 1 2 3 4 four terms each term consists of the coefficient and its exponent part here we leave this x because always this will be the same but this is a exponent form where it varies and the coefficient also varies so now we have to find a structure so that we can store this and then uh, another polynomial also we can store and then we add and print the single polynomial as a result. So here this is 5, 3, 10, 6 all the coefficients and 3, 2. Here if there is x power then we can consider 1 as the power. It's exponent. So that is also an exponent. Now structure of the polynomial. So first we define a class. Uh, and we have given the name as polynomial inside that we define the term each term what we have we call it as this as a one term this is another term so this term will have this structure so we use struct uh, data type in our c++ and we have given a name for that as term so that it is easily understandable then we have given the name coefficient and power which is of type integer as they are going to store integer now. Then we have declaring an array t which is of maximum size maybe 10 or 20 whatever it is we have declared in the program. So array uh, we are declaring an array which is of a maximum size which where the maximum size is given as 10 or something. So this t is of type structure okay this is an array which is of type structure type. So each uh, each value each uh, uh, each value in this array will be of type this structure okay now we define a constructor polynomial and here we declared first initially the number of terms to be zero so here we have already declared a uh, uh, member a uh, uh, function uh, sorry a uh, variable n and we assign uh, we initialize that in our constructor initially it is zero then how you can access individual element in this structure so how we could already we have declared it is to be an array of this structure so here t of 0 dot coefficient so an array you can access with this index inside this structure you can access with the dot operator so combine together t of 0 dot coefficient means the first value the array uh, structure type and in that the first value here is coefficient we are initializing to 0 and this to be power to be 0 then we define member functions get poly display and one more friend function polynomial add poly where we pass two argument uh, one is polynomial uh, first polynomial and the second polynomial so first we will see get poly so what is the meaning of get poly? This will read the polynomial value. So suppose we are going to add two polynomial elements. This get poly you have to execute for two times. First time you, to get the first polynomial, second time to get the second polynomial. So here we declare we have the, in the local variable no. First we get the enter the number of x terms in the given polynomial and then you get that uh, read that no and we assign this to n which is nothing but the class variable. Here. So we assign that. So the first polynomial when we read and we assign number of terms and we assign it in n. Then enter the polynomial details. That is we get the coefficient and the power till uh, uh, less than n because it reads from 0. So 0 to uh, less than n which is nothing but the number of uh, the number of terms. So this helps to read. Now the next one printing the polynomial. I want to print the polynomial. So how you can print? By printing its coefficient, then x power and power, and then printing the ti dot power. So this is how you assign a 
array of structure. Then here, what is this? For int i equal to less than n. So once the value is, uh, you can read the both of polynomial, polynomial 1 and 2, as well as when you add the polynomial 3, also can be printed using the same function. So what is this i is not equal to 0, and t of i dot coefficient is greater than 0. So if it is there, uh, till uh, you have a last, mostly the constant will have the power as 0. x power 0 can be taken as a constant. So if it is not there, then you print the plus symbol in order to oh, in order to display like a polynomial. So we use this. If it is uh, if uh, if it is not the last value, that is, if it is not a constant, the, till that you print this plus in order to appear it as if it is a polynomial. Now here, say for example, this is the last term. So after that plus should not come. Here, this is the last term. After this, plus should not come. So, for that only, we are doing this as if coefficient is greater than 0, then if i is not equal to 0. So, till it reaches the end of the thing, you put the plus symbol because I want this to be printed as, as a polynomial. So, for that only, it's a little bit trick in the program. 